So what did you uh, uh, come to me for? I found Dr. Tong on K Bright, a radio station that I listened to on Saturday. And he was giving out some testimonies of people that were being cured from very serious diseases. And I was so captivated by it that I thought, I've, I'm on some drugs. I can't stand it. I'm going to go check it out. So I made an appointment and I came to Dr. Tong for primarily insomnia. And I've been having some hip pain in other areas, but mainly for the insomnia. I've been on sleeping pills for probably four to five years. And I had to switch because one of them wasn't working anymore, so I had to go to something else. Mm -hmm. And what a vicious cycle, and I know they're doing damage to my body. And so I said, I'm going to give Dr. Tong a try. So I came here, and after the first visit, he told me to go off my drugs, so I did. And now... How do you feel after the first visit? You were very strung out. You were climbing the wall. <laughs> you, were, you were climbing the wall, yeah. I was like a stallion. I came in here saying, come on. <laughs> and, and after that first visit, I felt like I just woke up from a long nap. My speech was slower. I could feel my breathing. Mm -hmm. um, I was just so calm. It was night and day. And even you commented, Dr. Tom. Exactly. You, 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 your speech was much lower. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was just a miracle. And mm -hmm. um, So how did you sleep? So uh, I, I had trouble the first couple nights. Mm -hmm. But then I decided I was going to, and I did take a pill, mm -hmm. but because my mind was still racing. Mm -hmm. But then after that couple nights, I said, okay, I'm going to give it a try, and I've been off ever since. Mm -hmm. So it's been at least two to two and a half weeks that I've been off my sleeping pill. So how, how, how are you sleeping? I'm, uh, basically, I'm sleeping okay, but I'm finding the longer I'm away from you and not having a treatment, okay. I am, um, my, it's a little bit more difficult for me to fall asleep. But uh, after the treatment, were you able to sleep better? Yes, much better. Much my better. brain is so calm. It's, I, can, <laughs> I can just lay there and not have this racing and thinking of everything in the moon, under the moon, that has to be dealt with or done. And um, it's just such a miracle. After a while, you would not need my treatment and you still sleep well. One of the reasons you have a lot of stress right now. Yes. Okay, yes. so that is blocking you, I clear your blockage, you're blocking you, but eventually we'll still uh, get ahead and then you will, ne you will not need my treatment. Well, Maybe take some herbs, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, well, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, what else have you improved? Well, he told me to go off my high blood pressure, my sleep pill, my cholesterol medicine, Everything. and my mood stabilizer. So, yeah. so those were the four that I was on. Yeah, okay. Um, after, now my blood pressure was up in probably the 140s, and mm -hmm. the doctors, of course, put me on a high blood pressure medicine. And Dr. Tong, after the first visit, told me to go off of that, mm -hmm. which I did. And after four weeks, my blood pressure is still in the normal range. Yahoo! 124 over? 124 over 83. 83. Yeah. Okay, without the pills. Without the pills. Okay. Oh, what a miracle work. And what else do you do? You lose some weight. I've lost a lot of weight. Um, Dr. Tong encouraged me to go on a vegetarian diet. And um, so I've tried that. It's kind of difficult at times, but it's getting easier mm -hmm. as I'm finding newer things to eat. And uh, I've gone down from one about 186 to 184. Now I'm down to 174 within three weeks. That's a good rate. Uh, don't lose it too fast. No, no. Okay. So unbelievable. So, so you're uh, often good drugs? Yep. And your mood better? Yes. Now I feel like I'm more awake, I'm clearer, and um, the things he's done for me, I can't, I can't praise him enough and thank the Lord enough for all that he's doing for me because he's helping my body to cure itself. It's always instant too. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it's instant. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And I'm telling everybody. And I'm not taking you to lunch for saying that. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe I'll, I'll think about it. Okay. Now, one more thing. Let's do some public education. Okay. Okay. High cholesterol. Why would the body make something bad for it? So high cholesterol is bad, right? Everybody thinks no. it's bad, okay? So why would the body make, uh, educate us? Yeah, how would, why would the body make something bad for the, for the body? Because 
We, uh, it won't, okay? So I, no, it doesn't. The body I, will not. The body knows what to do. Yeah. It's because we have damaged our bodies by the food we eat. When you look on television and you see all that they're advertising, the pizzas and the hamburgers and all this, we live on acid and sugar that are completely destroying our bodies. Mm -hmm. So when we destroy it and we destroy the cell, the body has to release cholesterol to patch them up and to heal them so they can heal themselves. And mm -hmm. if we get off of that junk, the body will begin to heal itself with the cholesterol as a band-aid on those uh, damaged areas. And the more they get healed by eating right, the less they will need and the cholesterol will go back into the normal range. You should go to UCLA and become a professor. <laughs> because you know more than they do, okay? Cholesterol yeah. is not bad. Take this drug, take this drug. You are damaging the body and the body is producing cholesterol to little repair. That's right. Now if you stop the liver from making the cholesterol to repair, then you won't repair the damage. Because you're still eating crap. Exactly, okay? All the food that GMOs, vaccines, that cause your cells to become uh, impaired. You know, yeah, impaired, okay? So mm -hmm. the body, look at it as a foreign body and attack it. That's why you have a whole host of uh, uh, autoimmune disorders. Yes, yes. And then you're eating all the junks that, that uh, hormones, pesticides, uh, uh, chemicals, okay? Damage the cell. That's Many right. cells die and the body needs to re 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 make new cells to mm -hmm. repair. Yep. And the cell membrane has two layers of cholesterol. That's why you need all the cholesterol. So the cholesterol are good, yes. good. Yes. LDL is good. Yes. You need the LDL to transport repair. the cholesterol repair. to the repair, to the repair area. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yep. once you stop, just like Professor Shirley said, okay, once you stop uh, uh, the cholesterol, stop the, the damage. Oh, then stop. The, the body does not That's need right. cholesterol. The That's cholesterol right. comes down. That's right, because the repair is done by yeah. the cholesterol. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>